So in car design, uh, it's really all about proportion. It's so important that uh, we establish the architecture. It's, it's not about the second read or the third read coming into the details, but rather the overall silhouette of the car. So we're dealing again with a longer type of proportion. Um, it is not a GT style car. It does have a deck lid in the rear here. Um, but the, the proportions are really stretched. And we have the main feature of the line of the car is coming from the rear of the car around this uh, rear wheel fender here, and it's mimicked by this line right here. It's basically slingshotting forward all the way across the entire length of the car, over the hood and into the grille. And this sort of gives it this very elegant and unique feel. We also have a very muscular type of uh, body structure here. And we have this uh, really nice metal garnishment in the rocker treatment where the air curtain comes out uh, aft of the front wheel. And this kind of combination of this energy slingshotting over and then coming up over here really gives the car a posture of a cruiser, which is really, the car is not meant for these windy roads, but really more for this sort of weekend escape, we call it, with uh, a significant other by your side. Um, we do have an experiential aspect to the car we call the virtual valet. You might uh, notice these days when you go purchase an item at a boutique store or something, once you're finished with that purchase, the salesperson will come around with your bag and hand it to you around the, around the counter. And there's something elegant and, and meaningful about that human interaction. And we thought, well, rather than have sort of this uh, valet come up to your car and open the door and then back away from the car and then have the door in between you and that valet, it would be more important than to have someone in a fixed position besides the car, and then, and then simply as the owner would approach, you just tap it right here, but the door opens, but the interaction is actually more with the person to person rather than the, the door being the dramatic aspect of the car. So the car actually in this respect facilitates more of a kind of a human interaction as opposed to essentially putting a focus on, on the car itself. Thank <laughs> you.